Hello everyone, this is Lamarama, and today I want to talk to you about the benefits of having a well-stocked boat in Sea of Thieves. A lot of people underestimate how much time it can take to fill the boat. It can seem like a daunting task on your own, because it would take you 26 trips with a full bag to fill up a galleon. If you work together, however, it'll only take a full crew 6 trips, with 2 crew members making a 7th trip to fill up your entire boat. The benefits of having a well-stocked boat are you can fight anyone and anything for an extended period of time. Before you go into a Skull Fortress or out into the world, use every opportunity you can to gather supplies. You will begin each game with 15 bananas, 15 pieces of wood, and 45 cannonballs. I prefer to fill up the top barrel first on the cannonball pile, then the bottom left barrel or front barrel as some people call it, and finally, the bottom right or back barrel. By starting with the top and using that rotation, the human eye tends to rotate that way naturally. You'll go up high, then you'll look in front of you, and then in the very back last. Beyond filling up your barrels, you'll also want to find supply crates. If you get a wood and cannonball crate, you don't want to sell them. The gold you get is not worth the gold you can earn by the benefits those crates give you. Having an extra 50 pieces of wood or 50 cannonballs in the right place can change everything. I enjoy putting my wood crates on this little platform next to the brig. When I put a crate here, it gives me an opportunity to use all my wood in my bag from my barrel on the way down, and then after I patch all the holes that are in the front of the boat here, which could be up to six at any given time, I can go to that crate rather than all the way back up to the second deck and repair in the middle before even reaching the back of the boat. Those little opportunities can really change everything. The reason I don't keep a banana crate anywhere on the boat is because I've never really found a good place to put it. Everywhere I think it might be beneficial, it ends up getting stolen and helping the other team or lost in the ocean, so I sell them. It's the only crate I actually think you should sell. When you decide to place your cannonball crates, I recommend you put them between your cannons, but not on the far edge. When you put them next to the ladder by the plank, people coming up the ladder can see the cannonball crate next to your cannons, and they'll often just grab the crate and jump back off and run off into the water because you've just given them a huge supply count if that's a full crate. I believe Sea of Thieves is a game of preparation before fighting. If you are not well prepared, your boat will sink when you go out to fight other players or defend your ship from a kraken. That's all I have for you guys this week. I hope you found this video to be useful, and if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch. It'd be great to see you guys in chat.